name's Tony Fitzsimmons, I'm a local council artist and I'm enormously privileged to be associated with the Museum of Underwater Art. So I like uh, portraiture and realistic representation of figurative works. So Jason's project with his life-size cast figures, that got me very interested. I'm hoping to develop a, a decent body of work from Jason's work uh, to exhibit in the future. I was working alongside, observing them, recording and, and putting my own interpretation on, on the work that they were producing. Uh, I did some oil sketches here on, on site. These are just some examples of sketches I did at the Pacific Marine Group on shore before all the structures uh, went out to sea. As part of my role as artist in residence for Umbrella Studio and Museum of Underwater Art Project, I've run a couple of drawing workshops out here on site with our, with our statue. The statues that Jason has created, here's one here that, that escaped the marine depths. It's made of the pH neutral concrete, which is ecologically sound and, and made to be very, very long lived in the marine environment. Jason did a demonstration at Umbrella Studio. The process can take a couple of hours and they have to remain immobile and then the cast is removed and using that cast, the sculpture's made in cement. I got to go out when it was all installed at John Brewer Reef. It was transported out on a big barge, which is about half the length of a football field. Very impressed with the professionalism and, and finish that Jason and his team have put towards this. There'd been no corners cut, and I, I think he's put together a marvellous artistic creation, which will live for generations out on the reef and benefit the reef. Local and international visitors alike can expect a, a real eye-opener if they get out to John Brewer Reef and get underwater and just observe it all. It's a truly wonderful thing.